This is the card we're going to do today. This one is done using the Hero Arts July 2019 kit. And these are the stamps that are in the kit. And the ones that we used in this particular card is we used the Mountain, which is a multi-stamp. And we also used the Forest, which is also a multi-stamp. And the Little Dock, which is also a multi-stamp. We used these two little ducks and this little fish. We used this little Loch Ness monster. We used these two grassies, grassy stamps. These two kids jumping off the uh, dock. And we used It's Your Birthday, Relax and Enjoy. And we also used these two water ripples from the stamp set and these little birds. Now we also used uh, Gina, K. Gina K. Designs Cottage Garden Stamp Set and we used this little tree and this little tree set to fill out the area here that wasn't filled in by the stamp from Hero Arts. And we also used a handmade stencil that was made using dies to die for cloud edge border in order to ink in the clouds up in the sky. And so let's begin. Okay, I have some Bristol Smooth cardstock here. I'm going to be stamping in my Stamping Up Stamparata stamping platform, and I'm going to use a Misty Creative Corner in order to offset the paper. And I've pre-positioned all of my major stamps in the stamp positioner and so I'm going to start by stamping up the background for the trees. And I'm going to use a Stampin' Up! Pear Pizzazz for this. Okay, now I'm going to stamp the tree portion of this uh, stamp, and I will use Stamping Up Old Olive. Okay, and now I'm going to stamp the mountains. And what I've done is I've taken the die that comes with this set, and I've just cut out the trees using the die directly to make a little mask. And so I will just <clears throat> put it in like that. Then I'm going to use some Stamping Up Smoky Slate. Now when I <clears throat> stamp, I'm going to press down really hard close to where the mask is so that I don't have any white outline and you'll notice that I placed the mask so that it's there's some overlap so that there won't be too much white space. I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. And so you can see here I've uh, put the mask a little bit lower than where the stamp stops so that there isn't going to be too much white space. Okay, and now I will stamp the details of the mountain and I'll just use some Memento Tuxedo Black for this. Now I got a little bit of ink on the paper right here, so I'm going to use my sand eraser. Okay, now I am going to stamp the uh, pier, or the deck, or whatever you want to call it. And I will start with crumb cake. And now I will stamp the detail part of the pier with chocolate chip. 
And for some reason, Hero Arts made this little mountain scene here shorter than uh, the or, or the, the tree line, shorter than the mountain. So we have this little space here that I need to fill. And so I am going to use a Gina K Design stamp that I have. And I'm going to use this stamp here to just kind of fill in this area here as best I can. So I'm going to use my pear pizzazz. Okay, and in that same stamp set, I'm going to use this little tree here to add the dark. So I'm going to use Old Olive. I am going to put just a piece of paper down here to act as a mask. And then I will stamp up this little tree with the Old Olive. Okay, now I'm going to use some Marina Mist along with a makeup brush that I got off of Amazon. This comes as a set of 10 with different sizes and shapes and uh, it costs about $12 for the entire set. And so I am just going to bring some blue into the water area with this makeup brush. And this splotchy area here, I have a feeling that's from when I used the sand eraser to remove that little piece of ink, so that was probably a mistake. And I created a stencil from uh, my Dyes to Die For Cloud Edge Border Dyes. And so I'm going to use this stencil to just make some clouds up in the sky. And so I'll put the stencil here and I'll just, I'm using the same color blue just to make some clouds. Okay, you just clean up the makeup brush by rubbing it on a dry microfiber cloth. Okay, and now we're going to stamp in our black silhouette figures, as well as our sentiment. And so for that, I'm going to use some Versafine Black Onyx ink. Okay, now I'll use my Marina Mist again to add some of the Water Ripple stamps to the piece. Okay, and now I'll use my Old Olive to stamp some of the grass. Okay, now I want to put some of these plants in and I'm going to use some of my stamping up uh, markers for that. I'm going to use crumb cake and old olive. So I'll use old olive for the grass portion of the stamp. And I'm using the side of the brush to color this up. And then I will use the crumb cake to color the other portion up here. Then I'm going to put a little mask here by the dock, huff on it, and then I will stamp. And I'll do the same on the other side here. And I'm holding the stamp down for a long time to make sure I get good transfer of the ink. Now I may want to use the fine tip of my crumb cake 
to just kind of maybe add a little bit of definition to these. Okay, and to help hide that, I'm going to use my Marina Mist again. And I'm going to use the little water stamp here. And just ink this up really well. And then just kind of stamp over this. that some more I think I may also use this little duck actually I want the other duck that's going the other way and I think I'll actually also use the other duck. And now I'll stamp the little birds. Okay, now I'm going to use a Jelly Roll 08 white gel pen. Okay, and unfortunately I smeared some ink here. So I'm going to use this little fish and I will do the uh, Versafine again. And I'm only going to want part of the fish coming up. And so I'm going to use a mask. So that only part of the fish is up. And I'll use my heat gun to help dry this pigment ink a little more so that I don't smear it. Okay, I didn't realize I wasn't recording, so I'm using my thickest uni ball, UM-153, to draw the highlights around the thing swimming in the water. And so... There you have it. Okay, and since these are dye-based inks, I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to spray a very thin coat of Krylon UV resistant clear acrylic coating on this. And that will help to protect the image. And we'll be back. Okay, and I found some of this linen cardstock quite a while ago at the Dollar Tree. This is probably something that you don't see very often. Uh, but I like the texture of it. It's got an interesting texture. So I cut it four and three quarters by six and a quarter because I'm going to put it on a card base that is six and a half by five. And so we'll put this card stock on the base and then we will put this one on top. Okay, I'm going to prop this onto this cardstock by using some foam tape that is actually thinner than what you normally find. And here's the final card, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!